Currently it's 10.49. I have until 11 o'clock, so 11 minutes, almost 10 minutes, uh, to prepare for my first Polish lesson of the year. I've got two consecutive lessons, so I have one 11 till 12. They've got another one from half 12 to half 1. Um, so that's really like my morning already planned out for me. I, I've done quite a few of these italki lessons. I think last year it racked up 43 lessons between Polish and Spanish. I haven't done one for um, like a while, like maybe three weeks, four weeks, something like that, because um, I've been busy basically with Christmas and everything. Yeah, every time, like just before a lesson, like at this point, I, I do get like a little bit nervous. I, I always think to myself like, what if I forget how to say something simple? Or just just in general, like what if the conversation doesn't flow so well? But I I think it'll be okay. Normally it's okay with like my tutors. My tutors always know how to like keep a conversation going and whatever. So hopefully it'll go well. I'm just a little bit tired, so hopefully I can like wake up a bit by the time we get into the lesson in about ten minutes. If not halfway through the lesson, I'll probably wake up a little bit. That that's as far as my morning goes. Just uh, me doing two hours of Polish with a half an hour break in between. Sometimes I do that with a Spanish lesson on top or just before the two lessons as well. So sometimes I'll do three lessons in a day. It just depends. Um, yeah, you you got to fit them in where you can. But this year, like I'm wanting to do like weekly lessons with my languages. And I want to try and introduce Japanese at some point with like speaking with a native. Um, I'm not sure when a good time is to introduce the whole like talking with a native with my Japanese though because... If I did it now, like, I wouldn't be able to speak any Japanese, so that wouldn't be really that useful, I don't think. Uh, yeah, i just got to prepare myself, basically, for these lessons, and the best way I do that is just by waking up a little bit earlier. I don't wake up and immediately go for my lesson. Like, I wake up, get ready and everything, and also I try and drink as much water as I can before the lessons, because normally in the mornings my throat is quite, quite dry from when I have the window open at night and everything, so... As much water as I can drink as possible really helps me to just wake up and helps me to like have uh, better control of my vocals, I guess. Um, other than that, like, there's not a lot you can do. Like, there's so much with speaking a language, especially when you do it just after you wake up, like, you're probably going to forget things. But then sometimes I surprise myself um, when I'm speaking, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, now that I need to use this word, it's popped into my head. Uh, but more times than not, I need to use a word and it doesn't pop in my head because I forget it. Let's open up Translate because basically what I do is obviously we, we just have a talk as if you would talk normally in like your own language. It's not particularly a lesson of some sort. It's just, oh, let's sit down and have a chat for an hour. Sometimes there's obviously like bits that they teach, but we try to avoid that as much as possible. And really, I think that's um, across most people on italki or it, you know, depends on which tutor you have, I guess. But... It's more so sit down, have a chat, and just like, you know, as if there are like a mate or something. So when I do that, sometimes there's like a word I forget, or there's a word I might not even know. So then I go over to Google Translate quickly while I'm talking. I'll, tr I'll try and like type in what I need, and then I'll try to pronounce what Google Translate tells me, and then they will tell me whether that's correct pronunciation, and also whether the word is correct and whatever in the situation. So that's basically how I use I talk. It's not really anything special I don't think in, re in regards to the way that I use it that is like the actual program itself is very useful and I would recommend anyone who does learn languages to use italki or something similar you know just to talk with a native in the language that you're trying to learn um we have two minutes left so I'm gonna stop recording this and I will catch you guys in a bit after my lessons Cześć. Just tell me, uh, put your boy, uh, uchi shum, like, uh, the drums. E, um, yeah. just tell me, uchi shum, oh, just tell me, put your boy, uchi shum, uh, like, keyboard. So, I didn't, uh, propoya, uh, propoyum, um, uh, oklom dawet, oklom dawem, e, um, sitach, um, uh, the pulse. E, um, damine, yes, uh, yes, um, chekave, um, Oglandawam uh Oglandawam uh Napsi uh po po Lessons are done now. Uh that was two consecutive hours with a half an hour break in between of doing my Polish lessons. So I always enjoy doing them, even though before I do them they're a little bit 
it gets a little bit like, I guess, worrying, or as I said earlier on, uh, I just worry myself when before I get into a lesson. The moment I'm in a lesson, it's really enjoyable and fun. So um, yeah, I enjoy doing those. I'll book some more. Um, right now I'm walking into town to get my third COVID shot because we now have to have a booster shot. So that's where I'm going now. Just enjoying a nice little walk down in the nature. I don't walk as much as I'd like to, you know, I'm always driving. And this is awful, the shit that I'm walking on right now. Look at how muddy. Terrible. Cool, that's all done. That's yep. very quick. Thank you. They've got everything. Everything Polish, Romanian, European. So this is a European store. However, I like to look at the food. The amount of drinks they have here is just so much more. Half of them are oils, but... Yeah. European thing that you have cereal in bags as opposed to boxes. Cereal in a bag. So many different ones as well. They all look, or at least most of them look, really nice. Here we've got some more interesting flavoured crisps. And right at the top, we've got, we've got these. I'm not sure what that is. It's Bulgarian, I think. You got like these big wheat puff crisps, and then these huge bags. They have Cheetos or smackled chocolate, uh, tasty chocolate flavor, in like a Halloween style, I guess, with its skeleton or whatever. Interesting. Cheese, chicken, they have bacon, all sorts of different flavours that we don't normally get in the UK. Fromage. Always enjoy checking out the European supermarkets that we have here in the UK and slowly they're becoming bigger and more so. Um, I don't know if you can see in the video, but the, uh, that one that I was in is massive. It's uh, almost the same size like a normal supermarket that we'd have here, but obviously for European food, um, it's just so much more variety, um, more flavors of like different crisps and cereal and whatnot. So I really enjoy looking into them. So I have bought a few things. Um, I'll show you in a minute. A bottle of vodka, salted caramel. Actually, I don't know if it's vodka. Something. Salted caramel something. Chocolate bread, you can maybe see on the packaging, as I've already mentioned. I've eaten half of it. It's uh, sourdough, so I'm not sure if I like it fully or not, but it, it's okay so far. Just there's a bit of like an aftertaste. Then we have this, which is Dalkowski Polish liquor of some sort. It's salted caramel, so I thought I'd buy it because I also had to spend so much because I was paying by card. On the back here, it says that it's for like cocktails and desserts and that kind of thing. So um don't know exactly, but it looks nice anyway. I saw it on the shelf and I thought I'd give it a go. Dalkowski, uh, no idea exactly what it's going to taste like, but I'm assuming like Swanee Caramel, which is uh, just salted caramel. <sniffs> Smells really good. It's like a vodka or something, I think.
very nice. If you like salted caramel and you ever see Dalkovsky, I'd recommend. It's, it's basically salted caramel vodka. I'm not sure if it's actually vodka, but it tastes basically like vodka. Interesting, so basically after I'd had my jab and after I'd looked around the European supermarket, I was then looking around other shops in the town centre. I went into Waterstones, which is a bookstore here in the UK, trying to find some Japanese manga. Uh, unfortunately, as uh, I could probably have predicted, all manga that we sell in the uh, UK typically is um, translated into English. So all the Pokemon manga that was there, all the Dragon Ball Z manga that was there, all the other manga from other series that were there, uh, all translated into English. I did check every series, uh, no Japanese ones. So I'll probably order some Japanese manga from like the internet at some point because that's something that like will help me to read basically in Japanese. And then I went into HMV because I saw they had a massive South Korean flag hanging down. I decided to have a look in there. Surprise, surprise, there was uh, Squid Game stuff in there, hence why the South Korean flag was in there. But also there was a lot of Japanese sweets and stuff, which I really like enjoy looking at. So I didn't buy any Japanese sweets or anything from, um, from HMV, but it's good to know they're there because maybe I can do a video at some point for my main channel on trying Japanese sweets. I have actually done a video like that before, but maybe I can do an updated video because that one was like six years ago, I believe. Another video idea I sort of had when I was in the, uh, like the European supermarket is to buy every single brand of Polish beer that I could find in this town, uh, in supermarkets, whatever, like one of each beer, and then do a video on me trying each beer and give my thoughts and opinions on each beer maybe, or like comparing them or maybe putting them in order from best to worst in my uh, like opinion or whatever. Um, so yeah, there's, there's a couple ideas I've, I've had there. Uh, maybe I can buy like loads of different crisps and try them or whatever, but um, yeah, regardless of whether I end up doing any of those or not, it's just fun for me to look around these supermarkets and just have a look because um, it's probably the the best I can do for now in terms of like feeling like I'm abroad. Um, as well as like seeing Polish stuff, I like to look at like packaging and stuff. Like for example, on here, seeing how many words do I know? How much can I translate? Can I make sense of what's written here? Um, like on the back there, if it will focus, but you can see it. It's like a couple lines like, oh, how much can I translate from that? Like, oh, let's see. And there's uh, probably about 50, 50. I know some words, I don't know other words. Um, for me, it's just interesting and fun. And again, it's uh, to do all to do with like trying to be in the language that I'm trying to learn. So unfortunately we don't really have anything Spanish in the UK or at least in the town that I live on. There's very far and few between. Like you, you find a lot more like Polish and Romanian places or supermarkets and you will Spanish. Feeling a little bit tired. I'm not sure if it's my shot or what, or maybe just a lack of sleep. I don't really know. But either way, feeling a bit tired. So almost the end of the day anyway, I've just finished editing on my laptop as uh, you can maybe see here. I uh, just literally need to add this clip uh, and then that's it. Uh, I've just ordered myself uh, like seven or eight different mangas to come and they're in Japanese. So that's decent because I couldn't get any today obviously from uh, Waterstones or any other shops that I looked into today. I don't know how long they're gonna be. I think six, seven days or something apparently, but could be longer. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Just some random ones that are uh, recommended and also Dragon Ball as well as a couple of Dragon Ball ones. So. Hopefully that should be all good and um, I can use that to like study Japanese and learn via reading manga, which is the first time for me reading manga and if it works and I find it useful, I can look at manga in Polish and also in Spanish as well because they are also options you can get. Go leave the video there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.